Welcome back to my channel Miss Medicine. Today we will discuss about ophthalmology images. Credit goes to Dr. Neha Agarwal. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. First image is lens structure, labeling of lens, epithelium, cortex, equators, nucleus, sutures, posterior capsule, anterior capsule. Next image, brush filled down syndrome. You can see the image, brush filled spots. These are small white or grayish brown spots on the periphery of the iris in the human eye due to aggregation of the connective tissue. These brush filled spots are the characteristic features of chromosomal disorder down syndrome, which is trisomy 21. These occur 35 to 78% of newborns infants with the Down syndrome. Next image, Christmas tree cataract myotonic dystrophy. It is rare age related change which results from accelerated breakdown of membrane associated denatured proteins induced by the elevated calcium levels. Christmas tree cataracts also seen in patients with myotonic dystrophy. Next image cuneiform cortical polyopia, cuneiform senile cortical cataract. It is inferior nasal quadrant of the lens is the most frequent area which involved in incipient senile cataract formation. Slit lamp examination of this quadrant under full midriasis will frequently reveal an incipient cataract that otherwise would not have been detected. Next image is coronary cataract. It's seen around puberty, situated in deeper layers of the cortex and superficial layers of adolescence nucleus. Corona or club-shaped opacities near periphery of lens, usually hidden by iris while axial region and extreme periphery remains clear. It is non-progressive and does not interfere with the vision. Next image, cupuliform cataract. This is post-subcapsular. In this, maximum vision loss is seen. It has a saucer-shaped opacity, posterior subcapsular which gradually extend outwards. There is usually definitive demarcation between cataract and surrounding clear cortex. This cataract lies in the visual axis causes early loss of vision. That's why it causes maximum vision loss. Next image, Alsnig's pearls. These are seen mainly accumulation of cluster of proliferated epithelial cells, particularly seen in post-operative cataract patients, have the appearance of bunch of grapes or soap bubbles. It may migrate to posterior capsule, continue to accumulate and cause significantly decreased vision. Next image, ring of summering. A summering ring is a form of post-cataract opacity which occur after the central section of the lens has been removed secondary to trauma or surgery. It is caused by the adherence between the residual outer part of the anterior capsule and the posterior capsule. You can see the image. Next image, nuclear cataract. Nuclear cataracts are often a normal progression of aging as the lens of the eyes can yellow and become cloudy with the age. A nuclear cataract is most often associated aging and forms in the center of the lens, which is nucleus. Nuclear cataracts can occur in the one or both eyes and they often impact distance vision. You can see the image. Next image, membranous hallerman streiff syndrome. It is congenital disorder that affects growth, cranial development, hair growth and dental development. Ne Next image, Morgagnian hypermature senile cataract. In this cataract, complete cortex is liquefied and appears milky white in color. Nucleus settles at the bottom. Calcium deposits may also be seen on the lens capsule. Next image, oil drop reverse galactosemia. You can see in the image, oil drop cataract. 
नेक्स्ट इमेज पोस्ट पोलर पी एच पी वी परसिस्टेंट हाइपरप्लास्टिक प्रिमविट्रस इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज परसिस्टेंट फैटल वेस्कुलेचर पी एफ वी इज दिस रेयर कंजेनिटल डेवलपमेंट एनॉमली ऑफ द आई विच रिजल्ट फेलियर ऑफ द एम्ब्रियोलॉजिकल प्राइमरी विट्रस एंड हाइलर्ड वेस्कुलेचर टू रिग्रेस नेक्स्ट इमेज रीडर्स जोनिलर lamellar it occurred due to vitamin d deficiency or seen in hypoparathyroidism it is most common type bilateral opacification of specific layers or zones we can check it by slip lamp examination we will see layer of opacification which involve fetal nucleus surrounding clear center and surrounded in turn by layer of clear cortex front view disc shaped configuration and arcuate opacities straddle equator riders its etiology transient toxic influence during embryogenesis and calcium and vitamin d deficiency during pregnancy next image rosette cataract it is also known as stellate shaped cataract it is associated with blunt injury of the eye if in any case your patient have no such history of trauma systemic illness metabolic disease or any drug use which led to this cataract rosette cataracts also associated with diabetes mellitus this cataract stellate shaped cataract seen in diabetes mellitus patients as an complications next image shield atopic dermatitis you can see the image cataract develops in 10% of cases between 15 to 30 years of age bilateral in 70% frequently becomes mature anterior subcapsular plaque shield cataract is seen wrinkles in anterior capsule next image snowstorm flake juvenile diabetes mellitus cataract aldose reductase deficiency t1 is more than t2 sorbitol accumulation this is also known as diabetic cataract diabetes as associated with two types of cataracts senile cataract or true diabetic cataract senile cataract diabetes appears at an early age and progress rapidly and true diabetic cataract which is snow flake cataract or snowstorm cataract next image star electrocution cataract in a january issue of the new england journal of medicine researchers recount the fascinating case of an electrician who after sustaining a 14000 volt shock to his left shoulder presented with bilateral stellate anterior subcapsular opacities of the lens which is star burst shaped cataracts you can see the image it is due to electric shock next image sunflower flower of petals cataract it's seen in wilson's disease calcosis and in penetrating trauma kaiser fisher rings and sunflower cataract is the same kf rings are abnormal golden brown discoloration in the eyes that are caused by deposits of excess copper kf rings show up in 97% of the people with the wilson's disease next image congenital cataract you can see the image congenital cataracts refers to a lens opacity which is present at birth congenital cataract cover a broad spectrum severity whereas some lens opacities do not progress and are visually significant and others can produce profound visual impairment congenital cataracts may be unilateral or bilateral next image lens subluxation dislocation you can see the image of partial dislocation of lens which is subluxation and complete dislocation of lens dislocated this is external and internal eye ectopic lentis is when the lens is displaced from its normal position centered behind the iris 
When the lens is displaced but remains in the pupillary area, it is considered subluxated, which is partial and any disorder or trauma of the zonules may result in the lens dislocation. It can be complete or partial. Thank you.